by command of Her Majesty, Empress Fancy Pants, Dragon Mother, it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you the Queen Mother 2, elect of the Americas, all the way from New York City. Please put your hands together for Empress Coco Lachine. Ever since I was a baby, I have had one dream in mind. And each Christmas I think maybe it will finally come true. It's a simple wish that everyone has had from time to time. So I know you'll understand me when I share my dream with you. I want to be rich, famous, and powerful. Step on all my enemies and never do a thing. I want to be rich, famous, and powerful. So all I have to do in life is sit around and sing. I don't want to work, struggle, or compromise. When I set a goal, I want to reach it right away. Because paying your dues, that's just for other guys. As for me, I want what I want, and I want it all today. I don't want to audition. I don't want to take class. I want to be discovered while I'm sitting on my ass. I should not have to suffer. I should not have to sweat. I tried that for 10 minutes once, and look, what did I get? I'm still not rich, famous, or powerful. Barbara Streisand has it all, and I could do what she could do. So why is she rich, famous, and powerful? Well, I'm still stuck here schlepping through my life like all of you. What does it take to be famous and powerful? Santa, if you're listening, please tell me what to do. What do I have to fake to be famous and powerful? I've done everything I can, and now the rest is up to you. I tried being good. I tried being nice. I even tried pretending I was listening once or twice. But the really big stars have made it without it. Was Betty Davis pleasant? Well, I seriously doubt it. Still, she was rich. Everyone adored her, and the world was at her feet, and she was a bitch. It's obvious that I have gotten nowhere being sweet. Now I know I should be counting all the blessings that I've got. My husband truly worships me, and starving I am not. And I suppose good friends and family and health count for a lot. But I have to admit, all this doesn't mean shit if I'm not rich, famous, and powerful. Oh, come on, don't be so shocked. You know, you feel the same as I. If we were rich, famous, and powerful, we could take all those agents and casting directors, tiny apartments and back tax collectors, critics and casting calls, chilly rehearsal halls, people who bore us and jobs in the car. Give it up for Empress Coco Lachine!